Hi guys, it's that time again. Daz's Top 20 Selling Comic Books of the Week, episode 156. And tonight I will be discussing the best-selling comics on eBay for the weekend in the 22nd of October, 2021. Now since CoverPrice.com came on the scene, they've become a go-to spot for watching eBay trends on comics. And they scour thousands of eBay sales to coordinate data to spotlight the hottest selling books. As always guys, let's find out if you can beat me. It's not difficult, trust me. Starting in at number 20, of course, and we're starting in with some Silver Age. And this is a book I passed on a few years ago in Birmingham for around about 30 quid. And it was a nice mid-grade copy. Regret that to this day. Well, just lately, we've had a lot of news about Adam Warlock. Yeah, Adam Warlock has been cast into the next Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And... Before he was called Warlock, he went by the title of him. And this issue features the first cameo appearance of him. From 1967, we have the Fantastic Four, issue 67. Boy, this book is going crazy right now. There's your issue, guys. Pretty iconic cover. Of course, we saw the cocoon in Guardians number two. Right at the end. Well... This Silver Age classic book sold 22 copies. It had a seven-day trend, plus 122% with a high sale CGC 8.0, which is a gorgeous copy for that era, $1,099. Number 19 on our list, and we're sticking with Marvel and a recent book. Now, as Peter Parker fights for his life in a hospital bed, Due to being severely poisoned in the previous issue, he gives his blessing for Ben Riley to take the mantle of Spider-Man. What is the issue? Number 19 on our list. From 2021, of course. The Amazing Spider-Man. Issue 76. There's your book, guys. Sorry for the late posting of this top 20. I have just... Returned yesterday from a brilliant holiday to Blackpool. I've made a couple of videos from there. Check it out. Hit up two fantastic shops and picked up 40 great key issues, which I'm putting together for a haul right now. Stay tuned for that. Okay. Well, like I say, while it's unknown how long the status quo will be of Ben Reilly as Spider-Man, it does seem that it's going to be for a little while to come. And collectors jumped into this issue. The book sold 40 copies. It had a seven-day trend of plus 87% with a high-sale raw copy going for $11. Number 18 on our list. We're sticking with Amazing Spider-Man, but this time from 1992. And Venom Let There Be Carnage has come and not quite gone yet. And I saw it the other day. What did I think? Better than the first one. Probably around about 7.5 out of 10 for me. The villains really made the film. Woody Harrelson always delivers. Number 18 on our list, guys. 1992's Amazing Spider-Man, issue 361. We all know the issue. The first full appearance and origin of Carnage, Cletus Cassidy. Brilliant character that appeared in the Venom 2 movie. Now, this is, of course, the second overall appearance of Carnage, as he had a one-panel cameo in the previous issue, Amazing Spider-Man 360. If you haven't seen that film yet, there's a pretty epic mid credit scene, so look out for that. While this book sold 27 copies, it had a seven-day trend of plus 127%, and a high-sale CGC 9.8 went for $770, which is down from around about the $1,000 sales it had been in the last several weeks. I paid £50 for my copy at the Collectomania 25 Con in Birmingham. That was in the middle of 2018. At the time, it was a record uh, pickup for me. Handed over 50 quid, I wasn't too comfortable about it, but it proved to be a good investment. Number 17 on our list, sticking with a classic book from 1992 again. This is my top 20, probably best-selling title, and it holds a place yet again in the top 20 from Image Comics. We know the book. This is Spawn, 
issue number one. Yep, it's been in my top 20 for virtually all of the 156 weeks for a mass-produced book, a crazy seller. It's, of course, the first appearance of Spawn, Albert Francis L. Simmons, first appearance of Mel Boglia, Jason Wynn, Wanda Fitzgerald, all in that first uh, live-action Spawn movie, which is pretty much a B-list film, but I've got it. We've got the first appearance of Sam and Twitch, which is interesting because they have been greenlit for their own Netflix show. Uh, Pin Up a Pit in this issue, this issue, the second title ever published by Image Comics, and, of course, some gorgeous McFarlane artwork. This book, this time around, sold 31 copies at a seven-day trend of plus 121%, with a high sale CGC 9.8, going for a very nice $220. I've said it before, when I started out, they were 120. They went up as high as 320. It's in between that sort of ballpark figure. I paid £1.31 for my copy from Carboot Tony. Check him out on my comic book extras. And that is from February of 2018. Number 16 on our list. And this is a book that uh, I thought I had a chance of picking up, but I couldn't find one the other day when I was looking in Blackpool. This issue features the first appearance of Dane Whitman and Cersei's romance. Of course, that is going to be a big plot point of the Eternals movie that is fast approaching. Now, apparently it's had the worst ever review of a Marvel film. But I'm excited from what I've seen and I never listen to the critics. Number 16 on our list, another book from 1992 is Avengers issue 350. And like I said, that first romance between Dane Whitman and Cersei. I'm sure I can find that book. Again, it was probably a dollar bin book until just of late. The book sold 20 copies, had a seven-day trend of plus 195% with a high sale raw copy going for $20. Don't pay those eBay prices, guys. Number 15 on our list, and this book's still doing a little something something. And as mentioned in previous weeks, this issue features the first full appearance, I guess, of Hunter's Moon. Now, it's unclear how Marvel will use this character going forward, but of course we are getting the Moon Knight Disney Plus show. And everything Moon Knight is hot at the moment. Number 15 on our list is Moon Knight issue number three. And like I said, that has just recently come out. I will pick that one up for cover price if I can find it. You know me and modern books, we don't really have much of a connection. Now, this book... This time round sold 46 copies with a seven day trend of plus 87% and a high sale raw copy going for $16.30. I looked on eBay and here in the UK, it come down around about nine, 10 quid. 14 on our list. Here's an interesting one. And uh, this is to do with a new character. And uh, this character, let me get my notes for a minute is uh, Jay uh, Nakamara, a.k.a. The Truth. And uh, issue two has really taken off of this series. Issue one now is doing something as well. This is number 14 on our list, Superman. Superman, Son of kal issue one. And this is the Stephen Byrne variant. Here we go, guys. A pretty hot storyline at the moment. And it's about time Superman had some hotness because the key issues of Superman seems to be the last thing that people tend to go for. There aren't too many nice keys when it comes to Superman modern books in particular. Well, like the standard cover, collectors raced online to get this first issue to the series. Hence, uh, a lot of the readers, of course, have gone from issue two. Now they wanted to go back for that premiere number one. The book sold 21 copies. It had a seven day trend of plus 191% with a high sale CGC 9.8. Yeah, they're already out there going for $100. 13 on our list and we're sticking with the Venom Let There Be Carnage movie. Now, if you watch the movie and here's a spoiler, uh, Venom refers to himself as 
the lethal protector but throughout the film and this caused the direct edition of this first issue uh, to stay in the top 20 it was in the top 10 last time round this time it has dropped into the top 20 but it's still a fantastic issue from 1993 Venom Lethal Protector issue number one guys just a premiere issue the first Venom uh, solo series this book this time round sold 50 copies had a 7 day trend plus 103% and a high sale CGC 9.8 went for $200. You can see mine has sub creases and creases all over. But I only paid 50p for this. And that was in a car boot in Cheltenham. And that was in early 2017. And I've said it before. Believe it or not. This is the only copy of this book I have ever seen on my hunting adventures. Here in the UK. And uh, it's, a, it's a classic book, isn't it? There's different variations to it. I know there's a gold uh, variant to that. And there's an error book as well, I believe. But like I say, ASM 300 is quite expensive now, to say the least. So people are turning to that book. Okay. This is a book. I've just mentioned the character. Number 12 on our list. A book that's just come out from DC. This is Superman, Son of Kal-El. Issue 2, but we're talking the Sammy Basri Suicide Squad variant. There are a ton of covers for this book, guys. But this one is in number 12 spot this time round. Yeah, and like I said, this book is heating up um, with news of uh, John Kent's sexuality. And uh, the first appearance of Jay Nakamura. And uh, Jay Nakamura is uh, a.k.a. The Truth, who is a journalist. This book sold 20 copies, had a seven-day trend of plus 183%, with a high-sale raw copy going for $10. And number 11 on our list is a book I've been looking for, but without any joy as yet. But I'll find one. Eventually, I will. It's a very low-printed book, and it comes from Aftershock Comics. It's a Neusner-nominated uh, series around the extinction of humanity, except for 5,000 children. It's a fan-favourite book, and it's been hot since the day it was released. The heat around the pricey New York Comic Con variant spotlighted the standard first issue. You probably guessed it, guys, from 2020. Number 11 on our list is We Live, issue number one. And I do love that cover. Just a good seller, apparently a very good read. Of course, I've not got my hands on a copy yet, so I can't tell you about that one. But this book sold 22 copies, had a seven-day trend of plus 148%, and a high sale CGC 9.8 went for $200, guys. So uh, if that book ever gets optioned, look out, because it's hot already. We're into the big top 10, guys, and a pretty lousy start for me again. Okay. This time we're talking a nice Bronze Age book in at number 10. And as reported, Will Poulter, I liked him in Gotham, uh, is confirmed to play Adam Warlock in Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3. And this particular book features the origin of Adam Warlock. A new costume and the first time he is called Adam Warlock. Number 10 on our list is a book that's on my radar, is Marvel Premiere. Issue number one. I love all those Bronze Age Marvel title books. Team Up, Spotlight, uh, Two in One, you name it. But here's your book, guys. Number 10 on our list. Marvel Premiere, issue number one. Oh, what a cover we got there. I love the fact that MCU are continuing to push the boundaries and bring in new characters, not rehashing the same old characters. This book sold 34 copies at a seven-day trend of plus 156% with a high sale CGC 9.2. Wow, for a nice bronzer, 1,975. Oh, my days. Number nine on our list is an independent book, Image Comics. And this is a book I made a hot comic book alert about uh, a long time ago uh like i say it was optioned way back in 2020 and we've not heard much about it since but this cover is simply gaining traction due to the top legend that is todd mcfarland lending his pen to a title outside of spawn number nine on our list guys is a cracking cover it is Philadelphia 
issue number 12 and like I said it comes from the great man Todd McFarlane that is a cracking cover guys I read issue 1 I've got it and uh, hopefully it does make the light of day and hits the screen because we know a lot of these option books don't well the aftermarket like this likes this book. It sold 22 copies at a seven-day trend of plus 247% with a high sale. Uh, CGC 9.8 going for $100 with raw copies going for around about 40, 41 in that kind of range. Number eight on our list, uh, a book from 1976. Uh, and of course, we're getting the Eternals movie very, very soon. And... Uh, Books do not get much bigger than this, guys, when it comes to the Eternals. It is the Eternals issue number one. And, of course, the first appearance and origin of the Eternals team. We've got the first appearance of Icarus, who's going to be in the movie. Uh, the first appearance of the Deviants, the enemies of the Eternals. The uh, first appearance of Brother Toad, Margot Damien, Crow, Cataphrax, Dr. Damien, Vira. It's the first mention of the Celestials. Of course, their first appearance comes in issue number two, which I own. Of the Eternals, and uh, I'm excited for the film. I can't wait. This book sold 39 copies, had a seven day trend of plus 145%, and had a high uh, sale CGC 9.8 going for $3,199.99. And uh, that's a thousand dollars more than its record sale which was a previously $2,199.99. Uh, I paid £14.95 for my copy, and that was early 2018 when the movie was announced. I sold a copy recently to my good friend Mark Ald Aldroyd. If you haven't checked out Mark Ald Aldroyd, check him out. He's a great member of the UK uh, comic community, and there aren't many of us flying the flag over here. Number seven on our list, guys, and here's a cracking book. Before Adam Warlock, of course, was named, he was simply referred to as him. And this issue features the origin of him before taking on the mantle of Warlock in the Marvel premiere issue number one. Number seven on our list from 1967 is the Fantastic Four issue 66. Like I said, the first appearance and origin of him. Uh, we've seen that he is going to be in Guardians uh, of, of the Galaxy uh, number three. It's the first appearance of the Enclave team. Uh, first appearance of Marius Morlock, uh, uh, Wadislav and uh, Zotta, among others. It's the first appearance of the Beehive Enclave's research facility as well. Now, this is considered to be the first appearance of him uh, as this issue begins him's origin where he is in, uh, closed in a cocoon and remains inside of it until the last page of Fantastic Four issue 67 where he emerges from the cocoon on the last two panels. This book sold 36 copies at a seven day trend of plus 163% with a high sale CGC 9.2 going for $995. As you can see, my copy is beat anything but a 9.2, probably around about a 2.5 to 3.0 range, but I only paid 15 quid for it, and that was in February of 2019 at the local Cheltenham Con. Number six on our list uh, is a book that is still going well, and uh, we've just had a casting that Jake Gyllenhaal, he's going to be profit and he is going to be in a feature film. So number six on our list comes from Image Comics from 1992, Youngblood, issue number two, and this is the pink logo. Of course, there is a green logo as well, guys. Like I said, the first appearance on Origin of Prophet, who is Jonathan Tyler Prophet. We got the first appearance of Shadowhawk, uh, Kirby, Greylord, uh, Cross, Dark Thorn, Hatchet, Soy Storm, Berserker, Wild Mane. And uh, I can see a lot of those characters being in that film. But the pink logo, here it is, has <laughs> sold 51 copies, had a seven day trend plus 168%, with a high sale CGC 9.8, going for $399. I have to admit, this pink one is a lot harder to find, oops, than the green one. Uh, 
pound for that one, £2.44 for that one. I found quite a few of the greens, but the pink, not so much. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, number five on our list. And like I said, I picked up four uh, key, uh, 40 key issues the last few days in Blackpool this week. And I can't wait to show them because I've got some crackers for cheap. And this was one of them. You're going to get a sneak peek of one of those books. Like I say, this issue features the first appearance of Jay Nakamura, whom DC has shared that, uh, uh, who has, uh, sorry, let's get that again. Whom DC has shared that Superman's son, John Kent, would explore his sexuality within the upcoming series, specifically issue number five. But this time we're talking Superman, son of Kal-El, the in Hyuk Lee. Issue number two. Here we go, guys. That is a cracking cover. I'm a fan of In Hyuk Lee's work. I paid, I'm not going to tell you how much. I'll let that come out in my next whole video. But like I say, Jay Nakamura is a journalist and he's known as the truth. Uh, this is cardstock cover. It sold 42 copies. Had a seven day trend of plus 242% with a high sale raw copy going for $17.40. Just know I paid nowhere near that. Number 1992 is a great year because we've got another book coming this time round. And this comes from Marvel. And when it comes to affordable keys for Warlock, this has to be it. I keep finding this book. This classic 90s cover was the premier issue for the Infinity Watch series and was easily found in $1 bins for decades. Of course, with Warlock now confirmed for the MCU, it's now worth a lot more. Here we go. Four on our list is Warlock and the Infinity Watch, issue number one. And this is the first appearance of the Infinity Watch team. Adam Warlock, Drax the Destroyer, Moon Dragon, Gamora, Pip the Troll, and Thanos. Now, each member was given control of one of the Infinity Gems. It's the origin retold of Adam Warlock in this issue and the sequel to the Infinity Gauntlet. This book is now worth $35 after selling 106 copies with a seven day trend of plus 151%. I paid 89 pence for this in a pop-tastic uh, collectible shop, which basically sells just pops. And that was in March of 2018. Okay, number three on our list. I've alluded to this series quite a lot at the moment. And, uh, Issue five is going to be a big one with the reveal of John Kent's sexuality. Number three on our list is Superman, Son of Kal-El, issue number one, guys. And uh, like I say, a book that is getting a lot of heat. And uh, the series itself is getting a lot of heat. Here it is, the issue number one, the regular cover, guys. Pretty sweet. Got that old um, vintage look about it. The book sold 63 copies, had a seven day trend of plus 291% with a high sale raw copy going for $38.54. Okay, guys, so we are virtually there. The big runner up to number one comes from Boom Studios and it comes from 2017 and De Deadline recently reported that Boom Studios Misfit City is in the works at HBO. I made a comic, hot comic book alert about it. I've been looking for it, but with no joy, here is your book, guys. Like I say, 2017's Misfit City and it comes from Boom Studios. Not an easy book to find, I believe. A pretty scarce print run. Would it make the make it to screen? Who knows? But I like the hunt. And this book sold 24 copies. It had a seven-day trend plus 807% with a high sale raw copy going for $49.99. I'll stick to looking in the dollar boxes for that one, I think. We're there at the big number one, guys. And I've just showed you the in Lee variant to it. This time around, we're going to finish with the regular cover. Number one is Superman, Son of Kal-El, issue number two, guys. And uh, again, it's a book I think I will find eventually. I do like the cover. There it is, number one on our list. Oh, bear with me, guys. There it is, sorry about that. Number one. 
what numbers did this do because this sold an awful lot of books yeah it sold 92 copies at a seven day trend of plus 328 percent with a high sale raw copy going for 34 dollars and 42 cents yep so uh john kent's new love interest is jay nakamura aka the truth who is a journalist look out for that issue five that is upcoming that's a wrap guys oh it's late Oh, how many did I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, not too bad. I've had worse days, trust me. Eight out of ten, eight out of twenty even for Daz. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. It'll mean the world to me. Bye for now.